If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. But um, I've definitely, you know, Coach Rossberg's helped me out a lot since I've uh, got here with the wind conditions. And uh, when I got here, I wasn't hitting the ball, you know, right like I should. And if I if I continued that, I wouldn't be able to kick at this level just because of the wind up here. My balls would have went everywhere. But um, we've gotten that straight. We've gotten that fixed up. Fixed up, and uh, definitely been hitting the ball better. And you know, I think I'm ready to play up here. What would you say to people here about kicking and the instruction level? You said Coach Rossberg coach you up a little bit. Obviously, you got a head coach here who was a special teams guy for a decade in the league. And, uh, I, and, and I guess that's the good news, bad news thing. He takes the special teams crazy seriously. In, in John's case, he does. For you, with, with instruction here at this level, how's it different? I mean, what can you learn as a kicker that you didn't, you couldn't figure out your junior year at Florida State? Um, well, I've never really had coaching. I've kind of just, um, you know, studied different kickers and tried to do what they do, you know, try to see what they did and how, you know, I can do it, you know, just like them or better. But um, here, I actually have coaching. It's, it's been great. You know, certain things, I mean, I think the first day I learned more than I have, you know, four years of Florida State. Like what? Examples. Um, just where my plant foot needs to be, your plant foot needs to be a little deeper when you're kicking in the NFL, kicking the NFL ball. It's a little different than the college ball. And the ball's bigger? The NFL ball's bigger? They're a little... I think they're a little flat. Fatter. Different shape. Different right. shape. Right, okay. A little fatter than that. Uh, it screw you up, really? didn't screw me up, really. Uh, you just have to adjust. I mean, you always have to adjust. For you, with uh, with winning this job and, and Steve being out there and stuff, you feel like every kick, even in practice on the backfield, is kind of being monitored or judged in, in a certain way? Um, I kind of put that pressure on myself because, you know, if you put pressure on yourself during practice, it'll help you out during the game. You'll be prepared. So I think if you look at every kick that way, then uh, you'll be more prepared when the opportunity arises. Two ACC guys here. Did you guys play each other this year? A couple of years. Yeah, you right? Yeah. It was uh, back in 05, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Right on. Well, I mean, for Virginia, I was down in Charlottesville a couple of weeks ago. I guess your experience in the ACC, uh, you know, both of you in big-time programs. I mean, I think it's just a different thing to coming from a smaller school, preparing you for this. How's your preparation been for this and the, and the bigness, as I asked Paul and uh, Jason about earlier? You show up, you're now in the NFL. Every, dreams, every fan's dream to play in the NFL. You're the guys that are out there wearing a decal and putting the jerseys on. How's it been the first eight weeks for you? Just getting through the playbook and the cadence of this whole thing. Billick was on my show the other day and just said, what you really just want the rookies to do is just get used to coming here so that when training camp comes, they're not overwhelmed. And I think that's one of the good parts about the OTAs and the mini camps and that sort of thing is it's not first look when you get out to Westminster. You all know each other. You all know the playbook. At least you're not running around lost out in July when it's 110 degrees out. Yeah, definitely. It's been a it's been a pretty big adjustment for me. Um, you know, I think uh, benefited from going to Virginia uh, and being under Coach Howard Burrow. Um, a lot scored, of NFL experience there. A lot of NFL experience there, right? Um, and he runs his uh, program just like an NFL team, so um, had some similarities coming in. But at the same time, it's just so much more, so much more playbook, so many more runs, uh, protections. Um, it's just a lot of different stuff, and then on top of that, special teams is just taken to the next level. Where in college, we only had you know a couple of returns, like here, you know, we had like six or seven or eight different returns. So it's definitely a lot on your plate, um, but you just have to buckle down and, and get in your playbook and study hard. I've been 14 years now, I've known every special teams coach ever, interviewed them all, hardball, special teams players. I mean, that's what six round draft picks are in the NFL, you know, that's where you're gonna, you're gonna get on the field playing special teams. I've never had anybody explain it to me. Like, you're out there practicing, you got eight different plays. I mean, for all of us, just run down there and kill the guy, stay in your lane and kill the guy with the ball, but it's a lot more complex than that. Yes? It is. To be good at it. It's hard for more. Yeah, you really have to study film and really know what the other team is doing as far as returns or what now, what, you know, whatever special teams you might be on. So you just really have to focus in and be on top of your game. When you said that Al Groh ran an NFL-style team, I certainly wouldn't question that. I mean, obviously, his pedigree in the NFL and taking it down there. What kinds of things did he do did there that translate to what you've done up here that you, you recognize? Things that you, you say to yourself, man, I'm lucky I played for If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.